kind of yours through simply bird. What's good in the neighborhood with the word on the curb? Basically, how you doing? What you got going today, etc., etc. But look, man, today I'm coming with um a T Jazz video. Uh, this got requested a couple weeks ago. It was um bodybuilder tripped me 5v5 basketball at the beach. Um, not really need to be set, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure T Jazz is gonna cook up, but it look, ain't got to the altercation all of them. So we just gonna get straight into it, see what happens. What's up everybody, it's your boy T Jazz. Today we have a very interesting video for you guys watching at home, at work, at school. I don't know where you guys are at watching wow. this video, but today we are hopping on this school bus called the Hoop Bus. They literally took this school bus, pimped it out, put basketball hoops on the front, on the back, and we're pulling up to this court in LA on the beach. Oh, let me and, get straight uh, we're to gonna the see who pulls up. Let me get straight to the action. Alright. Right. Here should be cool. Alright guys, we're at the beach now. Uh, about to run some fives. The court's a little slippery, but uh court, when the court's yeah, slippery, bro. Bucket, so let's get it. That's the worst, man, for real. Is there something wrong with the gold? Or am I just tripping? It looks like it's like real wobbly. <laughs> Buddy, that was pretty decent defense. Fun to be guarding T Jazz, you know what I'm saying? Now, whenever I be like talking about T Jazz and his handles, I don't be trying to sound like I'm overrating him, but like he can handle the ball pretty nicely, you know what I'm saying? So. That was, that was pretty good defense. But let's see if he can keep it up, you know what I mean? Now. Okay. It's obviously not going to happen this game because it happened when they was going the way that they're going right now. Doing too much, but he got out of there though. But he he doing way too much. Hey, perfect lob. That's an ass up here. That dog said I got neck, dude. You know? With that lob count, only reason I asked him because it looked like it was over the cylinder. So I don't know. 
It determines who rapping, bitch. If you got a Foot Locker rip or if you got a real one, that's all. That's, that's what matters. But that's what's going to determine it. You don't. I don't know why the volume is so low. Like, I turned it back up. And that junk sounds mute. Falling on concrete, boy. That's a different type of feel. Like falling on hardwood, it hurt too. But like, it's there's a difference from hitting your elbow on concrete and on hardwood. You know what I'm saying? Even on hardwood, that junk can break as well, you know what I'm saying? But it's a, I don't know, it's a different feel. I think it's different mainly because on concrete, if if you hit it hard on concrete and on hardwood, I think on um, on concrete, it'll probably like bleed, like instantly type of thing, you know what I'm saying? On hardwood, it won't instantly start bleeding all the time. Now, hold on real quick, let me press pause. I forgot, I got this fan on still, because... I'll be coming back here early so that, um, I'll be coming back here early because y'all know that I'll be saying it'd be hot back here. So I come back here early, turn the fan and the, um, little vent on so it can be cool like an hour ahead. But let's get back. Okay. It's hard for me to, like, like, Ass. It's hard for me to have an interesting reaction to like videos like this only because like I only know who T Jazz is. You know what I'm saying? So like whenever I do these type of reactions where it's like T Jazz or something happens, my apologies for not having something entertaining because it's like I don't know nobody else. So it's like I just have to wait for T Jazz to do something to be like, oh, unless somebody else just do something really nice. Like our buddy with the ball had threw it between their legs the first game when he got trapped. Like that was cool. Yeah, that nigga. Hey, hey, little baby, a little junior dunk. Well, I don't think he even dunked down. I think he just hey, got up there. Almost did. Good lay. Oh, my goodness, bro. That was perfect timing. I wonder, do some people, when they do that, do they just, like, nah, they have to see the person coming, because there's no way you running, and then you just throw it off and just hope somebody come. Nah, you got to see it off the edge, and then be like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is the play right here, because I remember from the intro. see if it was like ill intent or not so huh, let me go back real quick to see it hey Tanger, hey let's see i don't think it was i think that the dude was like getting ready to slide over to help but then he instantly jumped over and then it looked like he tripped him and then just hopped over to make it seem like he didn't try to i don't think he i don't think it was an uh, intentional trip Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I, I don't know. That form is a little disgusting. Yeah, but I don't think that's legal. Because <laughs> he got him off. And then he hopped. <laughs> and then he went up. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that was that was a job. Man. Yeah, hey. 
I'm be honest, if you give TJ as a lane, bro, I honestly don't think he'll miss the layup. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody came up and helped. But if you just give him the lane and then later on somebody came and helped a little late, he's making it, bro. He's too crafty. Perfect. But he got like Chris Staples swag, you know. They're like that's something Chris Staples will wear. That tank top, shorts. I'm not saying Chris Staples don't know who wear that, but that seems like something he would wear. So is that him? the video That's not Chris Stable, bro. I'm very surprised. Body. Okay. Break out. I can tell by the shot. I was thinking to myself, like, if he shoots the ball and his form looks how it looks, I know it's him. Yeah, it's confirmed that's him. There's no way I don't think that's not him now. Hey. That's game, and I think that's in the video. Let me see. All right, guys. That was a quick little 
Poop session, I have my boy Chris Staples with me. Best dunker in the world, but also he's not just a dunker. As you can see, this man can hoop. So don't get that twisted. We also had Andrew going up against me. This man is probably one of the quickest dudes I've seen. So quick. Uh, he's got yeah, YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna be honest. As I was watching this video, like I said, if it's only one person who's there. Now, Chris Staples, I think he came like the second game. I think, yeah. I don't think he was there the first game, but as the video was going and going, I low-key started thinking to myself, like, bro, I'm not going to post this video. It's boring. Like, not the, the, what, like, not the video, but, like, this reaction is boring. You know what I'm saying? Like, my reaction I just did this video was trash. You know what I'm saying? And it's because it's, that's why, that's why a YouTuber can have a good reaction if, so, if it was, a, like, if it was, like, a 1v1. You know what I'm saying? But in a game like this, where it's only, like, where it's not a group of people who you know, like, it's not going to be all that. You know what I'm saying? I only know one person. Chris Staples came later. I Then I saw him. And, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not just about those two. They still had teammates, so they wasn't just doing everything. So the reaction wasn't as good as it should have been. And possibly it could have been better. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to overdo nothing. I'm just going to keep it how it is. You know what I mean? But that's the end of the video. Uh, let me know how y'all felt about the video. Um, and yeah, man. Uh, give me more videos to do. Give me more videos to react to.